what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Amber Rose is accusing her baby daddy of dun, 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 cheating on her with 12 women. 12 women? Damn! Where does one find time? <laughs> Amber went to IG and publicly broke up with her boyfriend. Her words. I'm tired of getting cheated on and being embarrassed behind the scenes. All 12 of y'all bums, the ones that I know of, there's probably more, can have him. Y'all very much knew he was in a relationship with a baby and y'all decided to F him anyway. I saw all the texts and DMs. Y'all were well aware, but y'all don't owe me any loyalty, so it's whatever. I can't be the only one fighting for my family anymore. I've been so loyal and transparent, but I haven't gotten the same energy in return. I'll never say the girls' names because I'm not in the business of ruining lives, but y'all know who y'all are. As for him, the lack of loyalty and the disrespect is ridiculous, and I'm done. Amber also had a few words for her mama. My raging narcissistic mom can get the F out of my life too. Oh my kids. Damn, Amber, tell us how you really feel. What mama do? Damn. Well, let me tell you something. So, I see what's happening a lot of times. People believe that they can do whatever they want to do and there won't be consequences for their actions. I do believe that whatever energy that you put out is the energy you'll receive. And I don't have anything personal against Amber Rose, but I did know when she was doing that slut walk that that was going to come back. Because I don't care how you try to have this slut positivity or hope positivity. Uh, you know, call yourself uh, sticking it to the man, sticking it to the the men, you know, the brothers. Uh, it's going to come back because society would never reach a point where it's going to be acceptable for a woman to be a hoe. That's never going to be acceptable. It may be something that people tolerate, but it'll never be acceptable. And yes, a hoe can get married. Yes, a slut can get married. Yes, she can secure the bag, but there will always be problems because number one, the dude that, that picks her, uh, he's picking her out of lust. He's not looking at her saying, whoa, this is somebody I would love to bring home to my mama. This is somebody I can be proud of. This is somebody when, when I'm not around, I know she's doing the right thing. That's not her. That's not how he's looking at her. He's looking at her like lusting, like, oh yeah, that's a nice piece of ass right there. Uh, I'm finna get with it, you know? And boom, he falls in love. He gets married in because he don't want nobody else to have her. So, and it goes on and on and on. And it always ends bad. You know, they they always end up leaving uh, that type of woman. Of course, you know, uh, a woman can be great and all of those things and still get left behind. But I can guarantee you, if you're promoting, uh, you know, being a slut or a hoe or whatever, if that's what you're promoting, finessing man or whatever, uh, then you are pretty much guaranteed that it ain't going to end well for you. I mean, you, you're you basically setting yourself up for failure. Uh, and that's just how it is, fam. And any dude that go for a woman like that is setting himself up for failure too. So it's a two-way street. You know, you got to understand that, you know, what kind of guy would really be attracted to that type of chick? You know, I'm talking about, I ain't talking about trying to stick and move. I'm talking about trying to be in a real relationship with. What type of dude would actually do that? And that's why when you start hearing these stories about these dudes doing, you know, these uh, uh, flaky things and, you know, questionable things, you got to say, well, you know, he did pick her. 
You know, so it's got to be something in your head. You know, it's like, you know, Kanye and Kim, you know what I'm saying? It's got to be something going on. It's got to be something wrong with you to see a chick, to, 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 to watch a chick on a video that millions of people are watching a video, a sex tape of a chick sucking up another dude. And you say, you, I want her. I want that one to be the mother of my children. You know, it's got to be something wrong going on up here. I don't give a damn how successful you are. I don't care how brilliant people think you are, how genius you think you are, how great you make music. I don't give a damn how cool you look, where you fly to, how much money you got in the bank. Something is going on between here and there's something wrong, something off, you know. But a lot of times we can't see that because all we see is money. You know, integrity is out the door, you know. That's one of those things that people don't really too much care about these days. As long as you can get to the bag, that's all that really matters. And this is why people like Donald Trump can say he has a friend or two, because he's one of the worst people ever. He set America single-handedly, set America back probably 50, 60 years. But people still want to be around him and take pictures with him because he got money. Sad, you know. Amber Rose somehow thought that when she was promoting the, you know, the slut thing, that the sluts wouldn't come for her man. Promoting this type of, uh, you know, activity will only create chaos among women. So when you're promoting that and other women looking at that and saying, yo, that's cool. I want to be like that. Well, so you got more and more women out here saying, finesse the man, you know, sleep with whoever, whoever you want to sleep with, grab whoever, and, you know, ain't no rules. Anybody can get it. So eventually, it'll be your turn to get it. That's how it go. And when karma hits, there will be no crime. Suck it up, buttercup. You ask for it, and you got it. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.